still thugging like the days when they weren't here in my city. Made it out of the trenches. Just salute when you see me. Yeah, salute when you see me. I'm getting greedy. I blow the whole budget on me. That's on me. I'm conceited. Treaty. Nah, that ain't how we treat it. This right here sound like a three-peat. I put the dip in it sound like I'm needy. But I'm like, oh, I'll you too needy. Me and HB going Juvie and BG. They got to put my face on the box of Wheaties. I'm praying for whoever think they compete. And salute when you see me. That's all he ever so That's how you greet me. It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. There's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Wilson after the play fake to Carson rolling to his right oh he tries to force it in and it's intercepted picked off by the pro bowler Marcus Peters and he's able to get it back to right around the 27 that's kind of a double whammy I mean the interception on the opening drive that's one thing but to give him this field position that's another absolutely perfect start for this defense they take the ball away on the opening possession they know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Tackled by Daryl Taylor. Now a second down and six. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in game. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown from 21 yards away. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them play running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Pulls it in at the 13. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Not the start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game, it leads to six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Yeah, a little bit of humor. Got to laugh that one off and not the ha-ha. That was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now it's Wilson. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. 20, 10. I'm going to show you, man. All the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Gerald Everett, 74 yards. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. Go, 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 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Now Dobbins again on second down. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs. And sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. Well, when he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. After the interception, here's Wilson. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. A gain of six there on first. Four yards remain for second down. Now a toss play. It's Carson. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Here's Wilson. There, yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. Murray has the first down and more. And he'll be out of bounds. 34 yards there and a first down. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him. But don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Freeman. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Dobbins. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins taking it in from two yards out, and the Ravens have taken the lead. 
People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Wilson. Catch is made by Metcalf. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 25 yards that time. Oh, they'll try the sweep. It's Lockett with it. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Wilson will hand to Carson on the option. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Wilson eluding the pressure and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports and Myers able to knock it through and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10 so the three points there, and CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. No run back here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. offense set at the line for this next drive and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone and just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive when you scored points it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there and he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight just what you want on a first down run call it eight yards and it's second and two quickly I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one I think if he had it to do over again he would have found a different target downfield but he made his decision and that one's incomplete third and two here's Jackson oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted picked up by the linebacker Bobby Wagner and the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. 
You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? A really good pickup of 28 yards. Wilson. And this will go to Carson out wide. Touchdown, Seahawks. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks on just two plays have taken the lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with a little under a minute to go, they may try and work their way into field goal range and try to tie up this ball game. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Throwing again on second down. Jackson. That's going to be caught. It's James Prochet. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Here's Jackson to throw. This one swung out to Williams. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. Play action. Now Jackson. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Behind the chain, second and 13. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, they'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? 
Well, I think that they just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic, no need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Jamal Adams coming up from his safety spot to make the play. Second and seven. Got a man. It's Brown. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Here's Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. His second touchdown of the night. And the Ravens have broken the tie. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of points because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. Deshaun Elliott up to make the play defensively. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw is Wilson. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. They go play action with Wilson. Sliding out of the pocket to the right side and complete to Metcalf. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Play action. It's Wilson. Forced out to his left. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Not to stick up the drag. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Yeah, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. From the gun, it's Wilson. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact, the force incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that, because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. On second down, a run with Dobbins. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On first and ten, it's Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And some space here. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson, he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now it's Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Tucker's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Well, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. 
Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. They'll find Everett there, complete. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. They try some people crazy see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Throwing now is Wilson. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here's Wilson. Left side complete to Lockett. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. They run for it with Carson. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Now Wilson. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Wilson to throw. Flush to his right. Now looks for Lockett once more. This time he's got him. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now it's Carson. And Carson unable to make it to the yellow line as the defense bottles him up. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. Eskridge, that's complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Shot for Wilson. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Yes, sir, that touchdown puts them in striking distance. And let me tell you something, forget being conservative here. Go for it, go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now, have the momentum? Go ahead and get it done. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. He's safe before he can get out of the football. And they remain down by a point. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. Down to Anigos Jackson, and that should seal it. 
So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one.